I don't know if I'm cursed or if someone cursed me or if I walked into some dark ass energy somewhere. What's up guys, Chris Star, and welcome back to my channel. So I am here in Salem, Massachusetts on Halloween, and I'm here with my boyfriend Jeff, but quite a lot has been going on since we've been here. I swear, it's like we're cursed. It's like someone cursed us. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'll get into that in just a few, but I'm about to head up to the cemetery in one of the beginning scenes of Hocus Pocus here in Marblehead, Massachusetts, and this is the scene where Max gets his shoes stolen by the bully. I love this cemetery. I think it is one of the most magical and mesmerizing cemeteries in the entire country. It might even top Sleepy Hollow and I cannot believe that I just said that but wait until you see how beautiful this place is. I'm gonna take you guys along in Salem as well and yeah it's just gonna be a vlog and I'll, I'll get into like what all's been going on since we've been here. Uh, just some weird shit's been going on and it's a little concerning. I don't know. Are we are we cursed? Like I don't know what's going on. So let's just let's head up to the cemetery. Unfortunately, it's freezing out today and I am in a dress. I'm in a magical cloak. But this cemetery is really magical. Uh, just like myself and Jeff, there are other people here just sightseeing. But there's a really spooky part back here with just one lone grave. So let's go see who that is for. Oh, I think there's more than one. So I'm not a big fan of doing spirit box sessions in cemeteries. I don't feel like cemeteries are the most haunted places in the world. Honestly, this is not where I would choose to come haunt. I would not choose to come haunt a cemetery. Oh, this is really cool back here. I'm not saying that there's no activity back here, but I am saying they're not as haunted as people think. People are like really scared of cemeteries. I actually find them quite peaceful. So I thought it was just the one, but this is a tomb. This looks like a tomb and that's people's houses back there. How cool would it be to live here? Like that's your house. This is your property and you just get to walk back here. As a kid, I would have the coolest life. And that just leads to somebody's house. Like imagine, imagine that was your house. And this is your backyard. I wouldn't be upset about it. <laughs> I think that'd be a pretty cool childhood. There's so many graves just tucked in here. And this view is insanity. Wow, people just live down here. I'm so jealous. Now don't quote me, but I do believe this is the exact area where Max's shoes were stolen. If you guys know, comment down below the exact area of the cemetery. I don't know, this rock just looks really familiar. Every October I've been here, it has been super hot, like 90 degree weather, and it is it is like a winter's day here in Salem. We just drove around forever trying to find a parking spot because we are on our way to the witch house, the black witch house. You guys have probably seen it in pictures. Now, it kind of blows my mind that people don't really know the history of Salem and all what went down here. It wasn't based on true witchcraft, like what people think of as witchcraft. Innocent people were killed here. Innocent people were condemned and put to death here. It was just pure chaos. And the witch house was owned by somebody who was responsible for condemning people. He went on a wild witch hunt and blamed people and accused people of witchcraft that weren't even doing witchcraft. And I will say, I do not label myself as anything, but you guys know I am very spiritual. I do take things from different practices. I don't consider myself a witch. Do I do things that may be considered witchcraft? Yes, but in the lightest way possible, in the most pure and kindest way possible, there's nothing I would ever do to manipulate somebody else's energy. But I just wanted to point that out that Salem was not actually based on what we know as true witchcraft. A lot of sadness here, the energy 
back then it was probably just one of the hardest places to live in the country yeah we're gonna go and visit the infamous black witch house uh there's probably gonna be a line of people but i just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the history because a lot of people don't know 19 people were condemned i believe one man was stoned or pressed to death many more died while they were imprisoned and what we did find out while we were here is that while they were imprisoned they charged them for food so even if they were let off after which a lot of them had to admit to witchcraft in order to be set free they had to pay all of these court fines and a lot of them lived in poverty for the rest of their lives and starved to death and died of disease they didn't have money they took everything from them crazy craziness pure craziness we made it to the witch house and it is pure chaos i just tried getting some pictures i don't know how they came out but this is one of the last standing structures from the witch trials from the witch era here in salem we got these authentic venetian masks got the checker going on and i don't know i just i just i thought it looked cute with this right see what i look like in front of the the witch house just wanted to say a huge shout out to the two fams that walked up to me and said hello i have really bad social anxiety and as soon as you introduce yourself to me i forget your name it's just something i've always done they were really really sweet and really kind but right behind me is allison's house from hocus pocus this is one of the most iconic well this is one of the iconic locations in the movie and the house looks really cool right now they have these glowing red windows and back there is a beautiful garden we're gonna take a little walk back there but i don't think i'm gonna be able to go to every single location because we are running out of daylight i think you can go in there it's a it's a mansion the group's mansion yeah. i'm gonna put on my other this is my cape but i'm gonna put on my other cape that's shorter and less warm i don't know what to do guys i feel like it's never been this cold in Salem, like ever. And it is so beautiful here. Yeah, it is really beautiful here. Um, Jeff and I are starving, so we're probably gonna go grab some food. just got back to the airbnb and we're exhausted honestly it, it's like eight o'clock and us grandma and grandpa's over here are ready for bed it was also really cold i know i'm from the northeast but i have to say it was a little too nippy out for us so we left you guys can't even see me hold on a second so jeff and i were sitting down to eat and i met gloria so if you're watching huge shout out to you gloria she is a sterling fam and she's been watching my content for a very long time and we got to talk about a lot of amazing things including our heritage and she's gonna help me uh, dive into my dna and all that fun stuff it was just really cool but yeah there was a couple of you guys that said hello to me in salem tonight and i'm just really grateful because honestly it's been a really really hard year and my absence on youtube has made me feel like maybe you guys have lost a little faith in me or something i don't know and it's made me really sad so when you guys do come up and say hi to me it means the world just knowing that you guys enjoy my content and that i'm able to help you guys in in any way in any spiritual way just means the absolute world so that is all i guess we'll see what we're gonna get ourselves into tomorrow but i wanted to show you uh, our little airbnb it is a mess which is a big mess but jeff and i travel with masks and haunted items jack is upstairs jack is upstairs but it's a loft it's a loft we have our italian venetian masks we have our slipknot mask pizza the frankenstein the devil and the misfit and and then we have this mask right here can you go show them jack okay let's go see jack hey go go see and then it, it's a mess up there <laughs> but it's a cool little loft where's the light oh. 
it's another Venetian mask, and there's the one and only Jackie boy. Jack comes everywhere with us. And it's a little man, Baffy, and he's from Salem. Okay, Jack, say goodnight. Good night. Say good night to, to the camera. Like turn turn around, say good night, and we'll see him tomorrow. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, with the red button. Well, that's gonna do it for Salem, guys. I am really bummed to be leaving. I'm like honestly really sad. It was a weird time, not gonna lie. And I did tell you I was gonna talk about what all has been going on and why I think maybe I'm cursed or somebody cursed me. So let's just start out with like what all went down in the beginning of the trip. So before I, I tell you that though, um, I am in Cambridge, which is part of Boston, really beautiful. I spent a lot of time here back in the day. I am older, right? I'm not in my early 20s anymore. A lot of you guys think I'm like pretty young, but I'm gonna be 32 in like a couple days. But we're here at a big antique mall. We're gonna look for some clowns for Jack and see if there's any spooky things we can add to the, the spooky fam. But um, aside from the weird ass energy of this full moon, everything just went not according to plan. On the way here, we had major car trouble, didn't say it was going to rain and it rained the entire time we were here. Like it was actually like pure misery being out in 40 degree weather cold and rainy did have to cut our night short on halloween night which was last night just because it was so cold i haven't been that cold in a long time and before any of you guys say i'm from the northeast i should be used to this or come up by you you live in new york guys i grew up like this i'm still a little bitch when it comes to the weather okay okay it's uncomfortable in the rain and the cold i don't want to hear it that's not all that's happened so every single night that we have been here jeff and i have been having <laughs> the craziest dreams and when we wake up it turns out that we both have been like dreaming about the same shit and it's so ironic that when i wake up and i tell jeff like oh this is what i was dreaming about he tell he like finishes my my sentence he finishes my my dream basically and it's been blowing my mind and not in a good way i don't know if that has something to do with the full moon or the energy of salem obviously salem is not based on true witchcraft i'm not saying that witchcraft didn't happen in salem but obviously nowadays uh, the city is very spiritual and magical. Not everybody in Salem uh, is up to good. Not everybody in Salem is doing good things. So I don't know if it was the energy there. We've been dreaming about the same entity coming toward us and just on top of everything seemingly going wrong, the car trouble, the rain, just little things here and there that just don't seem to be working out. Jeff and I dreaming about the same exact entity finishing each other's sentences when it comes to the, the dreams that we were having. I don't know if I'm cursed or if someone cursed me or if I walked into some dark ass energy somewhere. All I know is that I at this point in my spiritual journey, I do feel uh, like I'm able to handle this a lot better than maybe five years ago. So I don't want you guys to worry, but yeah, it has been quite a hectic and chaotic trip. Yeah, I'm hoping that now that we left Salem and we're heading home, things will simmer down. So wish us luck. We're gonna go into this huge antique mall right behind me and look for some clowns. Uh, hopefully nothing with any crazy ass attachments, but let me know what you guys think. If, if you're picking up on anything that's going on with us, that's everything that's been going down. How you feeling, Jeff? Yeah, whatever's been going on has been sucking the life out of me the entire time we've been here, but we've been trying to make the best of it. And You can even alive. see it. I feel like Jeff looks you look very tired. We haven't been getting much sleep, obviously, with everything going on. We made the best of it. Look at your face. You look tired and drained. Mm. Poor thing. We found the coolest booth here in the antique mall, but there's some crazy shit, including this doll. What is that? What is this?
Holy shit, guys. Wait until you see. I couldn't even film inside of there. I don't, hold on, hold on. Let's not show them just yet. Guys, when you see what I just found, in the Cambridge Antique Market here in Boston, you are going to freak. Okay, so I got three things and I wanted to wait until I got back to the car because I just cannot contain them. <laughs> I want to scream, I want to scream. <laughs> I literally want to scream. <laughs> like I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, are we ready? Guys, wait until you see. I got the coolest and the spookiest thing to add to my collection. You cannot have a Ouija board collection without the original 1960s Parker Brothers Ouija board complete set complete set let's take it out and show them huge shout out to michelle also known as mad is her nickname i believe she is so cool she has a booth here i'm actually gonna link her um i'm gonna link her booth and everything down below she has worked here for 25 years she's from the area she has a really badass booth and she does some really cool things with dolls i think she like makes dolls is that what she was saying she like yeah. makes dolls mm -hmm. but like creepy macabre dolls if i i, I think she gave me that page I'm gonna put it down below for you guys so you, you could check it out. But this is a complete set. Parker Brothers original Ouija board. And you cannot beat the price. Like this was a very, very fair price. Look at how like dirty this is. You yeah, think about the, the, the spirits that were conjured with this board since 1960. 60, 1960, yeah. 1960 around then, somewhere around then. And then we got this book from 1976, um, The Magic Power of Witchcraft. So a vintage book and then a vintage. And I knew before walking in here, there was gonna be some good ass energy. We were passing through to get back to uh, North Jersey, to back to my home. And I just randomly wanted to stop here. I was like, we have to go, we have to go. I've spent a lot of time here in Cambridge and Boston. I've never been here before, but something was drawing me to this place. And I feel like Jeff and I really needed this energy after everything we went through the past couple of days. And I had a feeling I was gonna find something ET related. I have an ET collection. ET is one of my all time favorites. You guys probably already know that, but it is one of those weird paper costumes. It's literally only $6. And this is from Michelle's booth. So if you guys are in the area, you have to check out Cambridge Antique Market and go upstairs to the third floor to Michelle's Boo, that is so freaking badass. Like, I am so excited that we were able to get this stuff. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are picking up from this video. Honestly, because of how everything went down in Salem, like the way the energy was, I wasn't able to film too much. Again, it just rained, it was super cold. And uh, between Jeff and I having those really crazy, vivid, very similar dreams every night and, and just, everything just going wrong one after another. We really weren't able to fully take advantage of Salem. I've been many times, Jeff still feels like he got a lot out of Salem, so I'm happy f about that. But I do feel like something is definitely uh, not right. So as soon as I get home, you best believe I'm doing the biggest cleansing session, meditating, reaching out to my guides, all that stuff, and grounding both of us because we desperately need it. But I think that is gonna do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, a little bit different than my typical content, but uh, just know I do have a lot of plans in the future to travel um, some really badass locations like the Villisca Murder House, the Crescent Hotel. And comment down below where you guys wanna see me go next and where you wanna see Jeff and I go next my new partner in crime. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. Jack is tucked in the back. Oh! He's sleeping. He's in his box, but He's Jack sleeping. says goodbye. Wait, can we, can you just wake Jack up one second? Jack. Jack, is, Jack comes everywhere with us, as you guys know. All right, Jackie boy. Jackie boy says, peace out guys, and uh, he will catch you guys super soon.